Alex Barblon, president of your organization. The Xpeed Ski organization is uh, in charge of uh, all the races here at the Montfort, and also the advertising for the event and, uh, and all that goes with the event. <laughs> the chance that we have, we're really high, over 3,000 meters. We're still lucky with the weather and with the snow condition because the track is uh, really perfect. And so who have I got? Well, Tracy from the US team, Ricardo. Ricardo Alarraga from Spain. The first time I've seen you wearing your kit, Okay, let's go through these boots first of all. Regular ski boots, but I have uh, what we call a fairing, or the French call a spoiler, or elron, el and that's covered with my rubber suit, and then I put a lot of tape on it for wind resistance. Is it comfortable? Absolutely not. <laughs> Now, it's, it's not really that all that comfortable. I don't have the top part of my suit on yet because it's extremely tight and it makes it hard to breathe, especially at this altitude, so. Let's talk about the Spanish team. Are there many people in the Spanish team? Uh, only one. I do everything. I'm the captain, I'm the driver, I'm the ski man, and I'm the skier. Now I have uh, some support from the Andorra team. They're very nice to help me now. Why did you end up skiing? Speed skiing, in fact. Well, it's not well known, but Spain is a country with lots of mountains and lots of skiing resorts. Uh, people love to go skiing, but there is not a tradition in competition. Uh, nevertheless, we have very good uh, skiers in, in the past. We had the Ochoa, brother and sister, Maria Jose Rienda, and well, now we have Carolina Ruiz. So there are here and there, there are some races, and, and I'm trying to do my best to, to, to contribute to the cause of Spanish skiing. What's your name? Christian Janssen. What kind of a season have you had? Yeah, I have a good season. It's my, it's my best season so far. And uh, I got third place and one uh, World Cup win and uh, third place in the overall. It's a really good season for me. And is Sweden a pretty strong country when it comes to speed skiing? Yeah, it is, uh, we have a big uh, team and we have a lot of young children coming up and uh, so it's looking good for the future. And this is uh, Mark. Mark, how long have you been speed skiing? 27 years. Wow. <laughs> when and where did you start? Uh, Switzerland, Lisbon. Is there any possibility for British skiers to train in the UK? Because of the climate and, and the snow conditions are so predictable that uh, you would be able to do training. It's, the way Scotland is, it's you know, it snows, it's either cold or it's warm and it disappears as snow. So you can't put a training program, a training schedule or even a race on in Scotland because it's so reliable, the snow conditions. So if people want to get involved, what should they do? Really the best thing to do is Come out to one of the uh, Pop KL races, which is held, for example, in Switzerland. Try it out, and if it feels like it's your your kind of sport, and you like what what you see and what you feel, then get yourself a license and start doing the races. I presume being a bit nuts helps as well, doesn't it? Well, people say that, but uh, I'd say if you're a nutty, you'd probably end up falling over and hurt yourself. So you need to uh, you need to be fit, you need to be a strong skier, and uh, you need to have your head at the right place when you're stood at the top of a steep track. 